all right what is up everyone so in this video i am going to show you how to manage this dell power connect 27 24 gigabit switch this is a 24 port dell managed and unmanaged switch and so far it's been working very well i've been using it unmanaged i have tried figuring out how to manage it but i have had no luck but finally today i figured it out after reading many uh posts online on how to get it working i finally figured it out and i'm going to show you in this video how you can do it if you own any of the power connect switches that are uh, managed to have the managed option so let's go go ahead and start so i'm just going to plug in the switch so when you plug it in you want to let it boot uh, what I mean by that is when it powers on the manage mode light it's going to blink now you want to wait until that light goes away after that that means that the switch booted successfully and it's on and it's going to be running uh, unmanaged so just plug and play once that green light stops flashing all the lights uh, all the ports will work and it'll work as just any uh, normal unmanaged switch you just plug in your uh, devices and it should all work uh, you know like it should we're just, we're just gonna wait till that manage mode light goes off all right so now it's solid green and right now it should go off any second now there you go the light is now off so only the power light is on manage mode is off so the switch can now be used as any standard switch you can plug plug in any of your uh your devices and it will work unmanaged no no need to do that but if you want to use the web ui so you want to manage the switch one of the reasons why i really wanted to have this switch work was i wanted to use uh link aggregation from here this switch has so now that is like like i said it's powered on it's unmanaged it's already plug and play connect your devices now we want to do is want to turn on manage mode so we go here to the right there's a little manage mode button you have to get into it with like a pen or, pen or something i have a lead pencil i'm just gonna use a lead pencil i'm gonna go ahead and click that button once I click it in, manage mode, uh, see if I can get it in there. Right. Manage mode should blink. Bam. All right. Now manage mode is on. Now it's going to have to reboot. The device is going to reboot. All the lights flashing. It's going to reboot. And it's going to set up the manage uh, mode uh, on the switch. So basically, it's going to flash again. But now it's going to boot to manage mode. So right now, it's still booting at manage mode. All right, now both lights are lit, power is on, and manage mode is on. It won't turn off now, manage mode is on. All right, so now that it's in manage mode, we wanna plug in your ethernet cable to port one. I don't know if, I don't know if all the ports will work, but I usually just do it on the first one. After that, you wanna plug in your other end to a laptop or your computer make sure you disconnect from the wi-fi or any internet you're connected to to connect to that it's going to show the activity light here yeah we got a we got a signal all right and now now we want to so this is how this is how it would go if if you didn't if you uh if you were you know for me all i did was I open the browser. I hit. I put in the default IP address of the switch is one nine two. Dot one six eight. Dot two. Dot one. So this is the default IP address for the switch. This is on the Dell website. You go ahead and click enter. Nothing happens. This is my problem. This is a problem I had so many times. The switch is in manage mode. I typed in the default IP address, but nothing. Nothing works. 
I tried multiple browsers. I tried older older uh, browsers, you know, but nothing worked. Still nothing. This is actually uh, Firefox, really old one. This is Firefox version 3.0, 2008. So this is pretty old, pretty old. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the computer and show you what you need to do to get this working. All right, so now we're in the computer. Like I showed you in the pre in the video, I put in the IP address. This is the default IP address, but nothing works. So in order for it to work, what you actually need to do is go to your network settings. So I just right click on the network tab, network internet settings. After that, you want to scroll all the way down to advanced network settings. From here, you want to click on your Ethernet port. Right now, it says un undefined network. You want to click on that. You want to click on view additional properties. Now, right now, right here, all you got to do is go to IP assignment. You want to click on edits. Instead of automatic DHCP, you want to set it to manual. Turn on IPv4. So, so here is very important. For the IP address, you want to put it similar to the switch's IP address. So we're going to do 192.168.2.2. So like I, if you remember, the switch's IP address by default from Dell is 192.168.2.1. But we're going to set this laptop's IP to 2.2 .2 at the end. So it will let the switch know that they're in the same network just so we can uh, start managing it. For the subnet, you can just put 255.255.255.0. You want to click save and that's it. Now, if we go back to the IP address and we click and we type in the IP address of the switch, 192.168 dot two dot one and you click enter bam we now get the login screen for the switch now the default username is admin and there is no password all you gotta do is click next and there you go you have now connected to the switch the dell switch the power connect 2724 now very important from here you want to go to IP addressing. All right, so this is the IP address of the switch, 192.168.2.1. You want to set this to any IP address that is from your network. So for example, my router's IP address that my router is providing to my devices is 192.168.50. All right, so right here, this is my router. And my router is a web UI. So my router's IP is 192.168.50.1. That is the router's uh, IP address. So what you wanna do is you wanna check with your router to see if any device, uh, what your device's IP address are. So I just, for me, I just go to network map, go to view list, so right here you can see these are all the IP addresses that my router has provided to my devices. So it looks like the one that I'm going to use is 12. So I'm going to go back to the laptop and type in 12. Okay, there you go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 50.12. That is what I used before, if you can see here. And then the subnet mask, there you go. Default gateway. So for this, you want to put your router's IP address, 192.168.50.1. If you remember, I showed you my uh, router's IP. It's one. It's always going to be one, I believe, for if it's like your main router. The router is always going to be the first, um, the, you know, the first IP that your router gives out. And all you want to do now is click apply changes. Now, before you, after you hit apply changes, 
the switch will now only be accessible from the IP address that you provided. And the only way to access the IP or this uh, switch is you have to plug in your switch to any dev any switch or your router that you know that's connected to your router basically the switch has to have access to the router's ip and that way you can access it pretty much in any device that's connected to your router for example i have a switch connected to my router right now if i connect this switch if i connect this uh all right, so now that this is done, you want to click Apply Changes. It says the IP version is about to be changed. To further manage the switch, please enter the new address in the URL bar or your browser. All you want to do is press OK. So remember your IP address, 192.168.50.12. Now, the old IP address will not work. It will not load. You can restart it. It's not going to load. For example, 192.168.2.1. Not going to work anymore. That's not your IP anymore. So let's try that 50.12. This is not going to work because you have to connect it to your router. After this, you're pretty much done. You just plug in your switch to your router. And you can manage the switch from there. 